Today I want to talk about desire as in who do we desire to be like? I actually have a photograph of two of my role models together. Martin Luther King Jr. and my grandfather. And growing up, that photograph was extremely important to me. Even more so than my relationship to my grandfather because growing up I was not that close to him. I mean, he was a guy that I would make ice cream with during the summertime, but we didn't have that much of a relationship until much later. But growing up, I had this photograph of my grandfather and Martin Luther King Jr. Now Martin Luther King Jr. to me and to many other people is this mythical creature. I mean, how can I make decisions and choices that have anything to do with the kind of decisions and choices that these great mythical people made? But this photograph for me always anchored that. And seeing my grandfather interacting on a level of peers with greatness showed that greatness could be your peer. That means I could be peers with greatness. That means I could live a life of greatness. The photo showed me the potential of what our lives could be. It's like seeing my grandfather riding a unicorn. Like, whoa, it just changes the game. Why, why can't you and I ride unicorns? What are the obstacles between, what makes that person different than you and I? And when I'm looking at this picture, the answer to me is, well, nothing. We all have the potential to live according to our ideals and, and, and make the weight of our life count. Belief Buffet is a assortment of ideas, whether spiritual or self-growth oriented, that are laid out with the option to taste it, see if you like it, without any pressure whatsoever. If you like it, fill your belly with it. If you don't like it, spit it out. Ha ha ha! Why not? Woo! Hey hey!